Hey everyone, Matt and Danielle here from Exploring Alternatives. We are in Rimouski, Quebec, Canada, and we're checking out a tiny house eco-resort. There's seven different tiny houses on the shore of the St. Lawrence. The setting is absolutely gorgeous, and the owner is really nice and offered us a free night's stay so we could get the full experience, and we're gonna give all of you a tour of both different styles of tiny houses. So come along and let's go check out the first one. This is the one with two stories. So there's a main floor um, and then there is the loft with the bed. So pretty standard tiny house design. The only difference really is that this one is 10 feet wide instead of being eight feet wide. So this is the living room. I love the way that they positioned the window so that you get a really amazing, stunning view of the St. Lawrence. And then right here, you can sit on the couch here. There's some nice armrests. Underneath, there's even a pull-out bed. The kitchen here seats four. And over here, you have the propane heater. So this one little heater heats up the whole tiny house. Here we have some storage, which is really convenient. And then if you come through here to the back on the right, they have a really nice, spacious kitchen. So you've got a double sink, a propane stovetop and oven, and a fridge that runs on solar power. The lights also run on solar power and they've got one 285 watt panel that powers everything. So completely off grid, which I love. Tons of counter space for preparing food and then lots of cabinet space too. And these are all made by hand and they're really well done. And then for the water, they have a vertical tank built in behind this little bulkhead here. And they actually designed this nifty little gauge to show people how much water they're using. There's also a little water heater here that you turn on. It's a little propane water heater that's outside. They have a fully composting toilet and this doesn't even need power. They've actually just got this pipe here that's venting to the outside. So you just take a little shovel full of that every time you go to the washroom, dump it in, and then they have this little handle that pops out and you just use that to crank the barrel and kind of mix everything together. And then a surprisingly spacious shower. So they're very, very environmentally conscious. So not only did they build these tiny houses to be off grid, but they also built them using all natural materials. So you'll notice all the finishes in here, the walls, the floor, everything is wood, and they finished it all using natural oil finishes. One other thing that I really like is that even the insulation, so even behind the walls, they used hemp insulation. Let's go check out the loft. So first, you pop it out like this, it's on wheels. Roll it across here, and they even have this safety latch. There's a nice cozy double bed up here with some nice reading lights and I really love the idea of having the window at the head so that you can get some nice fresh air while you're sleeping. And even from up here you get a great view. Alright, so this is the other style of tiny house. It's uh, similar. The materials are the same but this one has no loft which is probably kind of nice for people who are a bit claustrophobic. Uh, everything's on the main floor. So here we have the main hangout area. There's a little couch here and a dining table and it moves to make a bit more room for the uh, for the couch. Around here is the kitchen. It does feel a little bit more spacious. Again the fridge and all the lights run entirely off solar and the stove as well as the heating is all propane. The water tank is uh, instead of being vertical like in the other one is actually under the bed and there's an electronic gauge here that tells you how much water you've used and how, how much you have left. And if we come around here is the bedroom and the washroom. So yeah, really nice that you don't have to climb a ladder and it feels really spacious. There's tons of room above. And right here we have the washroom. So we just finished breakfast and spent a really nice night uh, sleeping in this, in this tiny house. Uh, we slept up in the loft, it was really cozy, really comfortable. And I think one of the other things that we really loved about this tiny house is that the owners obviously took so much care to make sure that every aspect of your stay here is as gentle on the environment as possible. They even chose an electric golf cart to take guests around to show them the property so that they weren't burning fuel on the property either. Like I mentioned, it's in Rimouski, Quebec, Canada, but for all our US viewers, it's actually really close to the US border. The 
northern part of Maine. And as far as we know, this is the only tiny house eco resort that's completely off grid that's in, in North America. It's also a great way to find out if you enjoy staying in a, in a tiny house. We mm -hmm. had actually never slept in a tiny house. So for us, it was a pretty good experience. It kind of gave us a lot of ideas and allowed us to visualize and really get a feel for what it would be like to live in a tiny house. Before that, we'd only looked at other people's videos or um, at floor plans, and it's completely different when you're actually in the space and using it. So definitely, if you're interested in building a tiny house, I think staying in one is a really good first step. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this.